Hello everyone, my name is Theo and today I will talk to you guys about a game you might have heard of. It's not very popular, not very famous. <laughs> game is called The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Now if you've heard of that game, then go you, since you know, not very famous. It came out on the 11th of November and it's amazing. On this video I will tell you guys my first thought of the game, my opinion, and if I recommend it or not. So I will start with the bad things, just to get them out of the way. And the bad things are generally just glitches. Nothing that can't be fixed with a simple patch, I think. These glitches, glitches are some texture popping, popping in, a, sometimes the animals or AI will be walking on air, or, or the head of an AI character won't really appear, which is freaky, <laughs> but uh, just bugs, nothing else that I can really consider bad about the game. I mean, there, I, I'm sure there are more things that I think that are bad in the game, but right now I am in the stage that I love it, so I can't really think of something else which is bad. That might change in the future, when the game is a bit older, but right now I love everything about the game. So really, those are the only things that I find bad, bad about it. If you guys have found something else which you don't like, just leave it in the comment and I will, I will answer to you. So we can have a little discussion about it. The good things I have, I think, about the game are, uh, first of all, first thing you see when you play it are the graphics. Generally, the graphics are, are amazing. When you're walking on a huge plane between the mountains and it's snowing, and then the fucking dragons appear out of nowhere <laughs> and it starts raping you that's... that's beautiful well, not when it's raping you, but you know <laughs> that's just a beautiful scene just walking around the, the huge the huge map of Oblivion which is another good thing the map is just huge there's just a tons and tons of things to do but I will get to that in a moment I won't, I won't talk to you guys about the graphics as I, as I started, but in maybe some places, like in some, uh, some dungeons or some buildings, the graphics might seem a little plastic, which I don't know if it's normal or, uh, or whatever, maybe they'll fix it, I don't know. But that's just a small problem, just the graphics in some places. But overall the graphics are around 8.5, 9 out of 10. Then as I, as I started talking about a bit before, the map, it's huge, tons of things to do, tons of things to kill, tons of dungeons to enter and loot, and really what else do you want? The map's huge, go crazy, <laughs> you can kill everyone I think, or well okay, you can't kill everyone, but you can kill most people, if that floats your boat, go kill everyone, who gives a shit. <laughs> and the other, the other thing I really love is the sound, I am playing with one with 5.1 surround speakers and the sound that I that I that I hear and the feeling that I get when I'm walk when I'm walking and the dragon starts circling above my head and I just hear I just hear him go from right to left around me. <laughs> that is an awesome feeling. If you guys are thinking about getting a 5.1 surround headset or speakers, definitely go get them. It will it will change drastically the sound of all of your of all of your games. The campaign I have no idea how long it is. <laughs> campaign, the single player, I have no idea how long it is since I have not finished it. But I am pretty positive it will be around maybe 70 hundred hours or more depending if you do everything. If you just go and do the, the main quest then you will probably finish the game in I don't know in a short amount of time. But if you do everything, the side quests, if you talk to people, then you are going to, to play it for a long time. And it's amazing. I am planning on, on doing everything. I hope, if I have the time, I will probably do it. But I'm pretty sure the campaign is going to be amazing. I do not know it yet, so I can't really give a mark or a rating for that. But we'll see. <laughs> but yeah. I I can't really think of bad things to say about the game. <laughs> I mean, I got it the first day it came out, and the first day 
I played it for eight hours. Like, eight fucking hours the day it came out. That sh really should indicate how much I love the game and how good it is. Because, for example, this would not be possible with a game like Modern Warfare 3, for example. Or even Battlefield. And I love Battlefield. Battlefield 3. But I can't really just play that game for eight hours. Skyrim is just a whole different experience. I mean, if you're if you're thinking about getting the game, if you have the money laying around, definitely go get it. Just definitely. Go pick it up on the Xbox or PS3. Or even if you have a good PC, just pick it up on the PC. It is kind of uh, GPU intensive if you pick it up on the PC. So uh, be, be careful about that. Because if you have a fucking old PC, don't get it. Because it won't work, so you'll be mad. So if I had if I had to give a rating for the game, like overall, I would probably give it a nine and a half, nine point seven. And if the they fix the bugs and the glitches, I would give it a solid ten. Amazing. Hats off to Bethesda. Thank you guys for watching. I hope. Uh, I hope. Well, yeah. I hope you subscribe if you're a new person who sees this. Leave a comment if you disagree with me. Or uh, just state the things you like that I didn't say. Leave a rating if you so desire. And I will see you guys next time.